Hello, everyone. Welcome to Lunch Break. I'm Tanya Rivero. In a striking scientific breakthrough, U.S. researchers have cloned two older people, one aged 35, the other 75, into early stage embryos. This comes after the first early stage human clones were created last year, but by using cells from infants. Here to discuss this fascinating step forward is Gautam Naik, who joins us from London. Hi, Gautam. Thanks for being with us. My pleasure. So this is a big leap in the science of cloning because of the ages of the cells used, correct? That's right. Uh, an experiment was done a year ago, which got a lot of publicity, in which scientists showed that they were able to create early stage human embryonic clones for the very first time. Of course, you know, researchers have cloned sheep and uh, rabbits and dogs and whatnot, but they've never cloned a human, uh, at least into an early stage embryo form before. This experiment repeats that technique and shows it can work as well, but with a little twist. They took their uh, DNA material from older people. One was a 35-year-old male, the other was 75 years old. People of that age tend to have obviously more mature cells and the idea of creating an embryonic clone of that person based on these older cells is quite remarkable, but these researchers have pulled it off. Is it much harder then to do that? Is it much harder to clone older human cells? Absolutely. You know, they've uh, been around for much longer. They've been exposed to all kinds of uh, environmental damage and problems. Uh, and to be able to get them to go back to an embryonic-like stage is quite remarkable. So it is clearly a step forward. The longer-term goal is not to clone people or anything like that. There is a medical need to create fresh tissue and to transfer transplanted into patients who need it. So if you had a heart attack uh, and you've got scarring in your heart, one way to repair that scarring is to put fresh tissue. Well, if you took tissue from anyone else, uh, you'd have an immune reaction and that's a big problem. But if you can create a clone of yourself in a little lab dish, we're talking about, you know, maybe 50 or 100 cells, a little clump, and from that you converted the cells to heart tissue and put it back into you, well, it's your own DNA returning to your own body, so there'd be no immune reje rejection. And that is the ultimate medical goal. And this research takes it a little step forward. Very, very exciting. Obviously, like you said, huge implications for treating age-related diseases. How long do you think it will be before we can start to see some of these cures? Oh, uh, years to go because this is a very uh, tricky technology. There are huge uh, safety issues. Do remember that, you know, when it came to creating Dolly the sheep or cloning almost any other animal that's been cloned, you know, you re need hundreds of eggs, if not thousands. Uh, a lot of uh, fetuses that are born are malformed. You can't do that kind of thing with human experiments yeah. uh, because you've got to make sure that the embryonic clones you create and that the tissue you derive from them are really, really safe when you transplant it back into a person. So uh, we've got a long way to go still. All right, Gautam Naik, thank you so much for telling us about this exciting new development.